Heute schreiben wir den Test zu Ginger goes to Canada. Take a pencil and write your name. Number one, on the plane to Calgary. Listen to Captain Speedy, number what he can see. Ich spiele die Durchsagen von Captain Speedy auf CD ab und du nummerierst die Bilder in der gehörten Reihenfolge. Nicht jede Abbildung kommt in den Durchsagen vor. On the plane to Calgary. Welcome aboard Beaver Air. I'm Captain Speedy. Today is a beautiful day. It's sunny. There are no clouds. We're over the sea. Please look out of your windows. On the left, there's the deep blue sea. Number one. On the left, the deep blue sea. Schreibe hier eine Eins rein. Den Rest versuchst du allein. Please look out of the windows on your right. Can you see the big city on your right? That's Vancouver. What a beautiful lake. Please look out of the windows on your left. There's a big lake down there. The name of the lake is Green Lake. Can you see the lake on your left? We're flying over the Rocky Mountains now. Look, that mountain on your right is called Jumbo Mountain. Now look out of the windows on your left. That's the Red Deer River down there. Can you see the river on your left? Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to land. On your right, you can see the city of Calgary. Welcome to Calgary. Thank you for flying Beaver Air. Höre dir den Hörtext noch einmal an, wenn dir das Ganze zu schnell ging. Du müsstest die Zahlen von 1 bis 6 in dem Kästchen haben. Number 2. At the camping store. Listen and draw lines. Write the prices. Du siehst hier einen Camping Store und verschiedene Campingartikel. Captain Storm, Sarah, Sarah's Mom and Ginger want to buy something in the camping store. Ich spiele nun einen Hörtext von CD ab, auf dem hörst du die Dialoge im Camping Store. Verbinde jede Person mit dem Gegenstand, die sie kauft. Ich spiele den Hörtext ein zweites Mal vor und du achtest darauf, was diese Gegenstände kosten und trägst die Preise in die Preisschilder ein. Beantworte anschließend auch die Frage hier unten. At the camping store. Number one. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a rucksack. A big rucksack or a small one? Oh, a big one, please. I want to go camping. How much is it? It's eighty-one dollars. I'll take it. Number two. Hello, can I help you? Yes. Have you got pocket knives? Pocket knives? Oh, yes. Here's a blue pocket knife. It's six dollars. And here's a red pocket knife. It's eight dollars. I like the red one. I'll take it. Here's eight dollars. Number three. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a sleeping bag. Here's a very warm sleeping bag. Oh, that's wonderful. How much is it? It's seventy-five dollars. Okay, I'll take it. Here's seventy-five dollars. Number four. Hello, 
Joel, can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a torch. Can I get a big torch for $20? Oh, yes, you can. Here's a very good torch for $19. I'll take it. Here you are, $20. Thank you. Here's your torch and here's your change, $1. Wenn du nun alle Personen mit dem Gegenstand verbunden hast, den sie gekauft haben, hörst du jetzt den gleichen Text noch einmal und trägst die Preise zu den Gegenständen ein. At the camping store. Number one. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a rucksack. A big rucksack or a small one? Oh, a big one, please. I want to go camping. How much is it? It's eighty-one dollars. I'll take it. Number two. Hello, can I help you? Yes. Have you got pocket knives? Pocket knives. Oh, yes. Here's a blue pocket knife. It's six dollars. And here's a red pocket knife. It's eight dollars. I like the red one. I'll take it. Here's eight dollars. Number three. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a sleeping bag. Here's a very warm sleeping bag. Oh, that's wonderful. How much is it? It's seventy-five dollars. Okay, I'll take it. Here's seventy-five dollars. Number four. Hello, can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a torch. Can I get a big torch for twenty dollars? Oh, yes, you can. Here's a very good torch for nineteen dollars. I'll take it. Here you are, twenty dollars. Thank you. Here's your torch and here's your change, one dollar. Number three. The new sleeping bag. Read and number the sentences in the right order. Number the speech bubbles. Lies dir die Sprechblasen alle durch und nummeriere sie in der richtigen Reihenfolge. Number four. I'd like a nice water bottle. Read and write a dialogue. Hier hast du eine Wortsammlung die dir dabei helfen soll, einen eigenen Dialog zu schreiben. Du kannst die vorgegebenen Satzanfänge und Fragesätze benutzen oder eigene Sätze formulieren. Der Dialog in Aufgabe 3 kann dir dabei helfen. That's all for today. Bye, bye.